Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to talk about... <laughs> Sorry, I just find the subject funny. Hating podcasts and why you shouldn't start one. If you want to like and subscribe, please do after this. If you don't, that's cool. Y'all see the donations if you want to help towards our PC soundboard to continue to help with the sound here. All right, let's go ahead and watch this. This is coming from Turkey Tom, Tom Dark, whichever one you want to say. He mentions a good thing that I don't really think about. I don't have a podcast, but it makes a lot of sense in... Even this kind of humbled my uh, opinion, and I'll get into that here in a second. How do I say that not everyone needs a podcast? Why am I ranting, raving, spurging, molding, coping, seething about the fact that everyone has a podcast? Well, frankly, I just I just find it kind of annoying, and, and it's, it's, it's kind of like narcissistic. The audacity, okay, for someone to have a fucking podcast and think that anyone wants to listen to what they have to say. <laughs> So I think to analyze why I hate podcasts so much and why you should too, why you should be fucking raging like I am, we need to analyze what makes a good podcast good. And then we can kind of reverse engineer what makes a bad podcast bad, okay? So in my opinion, the best place to start would be Joe Rogan, the most popular podcast of all time. It's not my favorite podcast ever, but it's undoubtedly a good one. It's clearly a very popular show that a lot of people like. It's like the most popular podcast in the world, right? At this point, it's it's synonymous with podcasting in general. If you hear the word podcast, Joe Rogan is as synonymous with it as Howard Stern was for the rate so he's later gonna go into this and we'll move forward a little bit here but i want to talk about what he said at the very beginning <laughs> it is kind of narcissistic to start a podcast um and i don't mean it like in a bad way but it is funny because this is something i used to do so when i first started doing podcasting man i really not podcasting but when i first started making videos you can go back and watch him watch the young trey get on his little high horse matter of fact something you guys don't know is i've been making youtube videos since 2009 2009 2010 somewhere around there but i deleted a couple channels i was i first started off as a drummer and then i first and i started and i also used to do um just vlogs stuff like that and one thing i, I learned and this is the reason i've been having somewhat very very minuscule success over these last few months um, is because I quit talking about myself so much. I realize I'm not really, I'm an interesting person. I do think that, but since nobody knows who I am, I'm only interesting to myself. Um, even though I think I have a lot to say, a lot of people don't care because guess what? They don't know who I am. And so that's when I started to make the pivot last year to start talking about other people. I used to just be against that. But I started realizing that I can never share my experience or do anything important if I don't talk about people y'all care about because you don't know who I am. And so that's a hard lesson to learn. So it's kind of dumb to start a podcast when nobody knows who you are. Nobody cares what you think about in you, Asha. I'm sorry. Let's continue. this podcast i think it's just his high school friends i don't even know who these people are but it, it has like a thousand views like nobody's watching this show um and and the reason why is obvious it's because like imagine the audacity that you would have to have to start a podcast when you're not an interesting person like i'll i'll be i'll be i'll be the first to acknowledge like i'm not a particularly interesting person i'm hoping that within the next 20 years i'll become a more interesting person but as of now like i'm 20 years old you know having a podcast when you're 20 unless you're unless you're like a famous superstar unless you're like 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 jake paul okay jake paul can have a podcast he's 25 he can have a podcast logan paul can have a podcast they're famous they have crazy lives they do cool sh if you're making like video essays on youtube do you need to have a podcast about like your daily life do you really need that i would say probably not you probably don't because your 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 daily life is probably not that interesting okay you're fucking 20 years old what have you done you've like jerked off you had avocado toast this morning like that's your fucking life what are you doing that's so interesting if you're sitting in your room video editing all day unless you're a 50 year old man who's worked on some like super sick projects like who would really want to listen to your podcast okay like the way that uh the way that i get views on youtube is by talking about other interesting people like and i'll, and I'll be very transparent about that like there's no doubt that someone like fousey tube whatever you think of fousey tube okay however critical you may be of him his life on paper is probably more interesting than my life for better or for worse and that's why he's the one live streaming himself and i'm the one talking about him live streaming himself okay <laughs> and i acknowledge that i don't have the audacity to think that i and i alone like am an extremely compelling thing okay like like that i can just get by off like shooting the sh with my friends imagine if i started a podcast with my friends from high school like what what the fuck am i going to talk about that's going to interest the general audience like the fact that like we're like 20 we got like we like uh, we, we went to high school oh man i just like smoked weed the other day <laughs> like, like uh i just wanted to talk about that man i just thought all of that was pretty interesting because 
another thing that I, I find funny is because I watch other YouTubers that are small like me. I follow a couple small YouTubers um, because some small t YouTubers, they're uh, great. And sometimes I come... Um, in the middle of something. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Uh, I thought I'd turn that on silent. So, the funny thing is when I... When I go to watch these small YouTubers and I start to think about them, I look at some of these and I do watch small podcasts, right? I'll look at these podcasts. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you're having it. It's because some people want to, they want to be the next Fresh and Fit. Some people want to be the next Joe Rogan. They want to be the next Ethan. It's hard to do that because those people, even Ethan himself, Ethan Klein, even him, even though people don't like him as much anymore, he still was building himself up. It's been over years after what he went through with YouTube, copyright, learning about people. He built a life that was somewhat interesting. If Trish Pateas had a podcast, it would be interesting, right? But if me, little old me had a podcast and I just tell you guys about, hey, man, I used to work this nine to five. Then I went to this other nine to five. Then I went to this other nine to five. And that, that's pretty much it. Like, if I did a podcast, right, and talk with my friends, the podcast probably lasts a week. How much are we going to talk about? It's not like we're meeting celebrities every day. Not like we're going to parties. In fact, I think Swell Entertainment would make a good podcast because of all the stuff and all the people she's gotten to meet. And when you start blowing up on YouTube, if you get to that 100,000 subscriber, you'll have something to talk about because a lot of people will never, ever, ever get to 100,000 subscribers. Now, there's millions of people, I think, that have 100,000. No, not probably not millions. But there's quite a few people who have 100,000 subscribers. There's quite a few people who have a million subscribers. But I promise you, you're never probably going to come across a lot of these YouTubers. The bigger ones, yes, like iSpeed and all of them, yeah, you probably recognize them in public. But most YouTubers who have a million subscribers, you probably don't even know they exist because there's so few of them. It's more than you think. You may think, oh, man, but there's a million people who have a million subscribers. Yes, that's a million in a population of 313 million people in a world of 7 billion people. You more than likely do, will not come across a person that you know who has a million subscribers. I'm only saying all this stuff is because it's hard to have a podcast and also be interesting. But everybody wants to get on YouTube and think their life is so important. I did the same thing. I got on and thought if I said, hey, guys, I'm fat. Bam, I was going to blow up. That's how I started my whole channel. I started talking about obesity. I thought that was just going to blow up. Not not thinking, being too arrogant, too confident, and not realizing that a lot of people don't care about who I am, but they do care who I talk about. Now, if I get on here and say, Lizzo's obese, now I can get some people to come in, and then I can tell my story, and then I can get my experience. That's why I tend to stay on the same kind of topics. I tend to talk about kids. I tend to talk about uh, being fat, and I tend to talk about... Um, uh, relationships, being married, stuff like that. Stuff I have experience in. Stuff I've done before, right? You don't see me talk a lot about uh, the election process. You don't see me talk really deep about politics because I don't know enough yet. And I like talking about culture more than I do politics. But there's some things that's not going to make a lot of sense. For, I'm not going to talk to you guys about too much fashion. I can tell you to put on a nice blazer, put on a shirt and tie, but that's all I can tell you. I, I don't know what it means to get stuff custom fitted and all that. And that's stuff I'm going to learn. But, you know, I'm just saying. So my point is, if you want to start a podcast, just think to yourself. Am I that much? Am I really that interesting? If I sit down and talk about cheating. Or if I sit down and talk about red pill stuff, yeah, you can do that. But it's only only way you're going to get up is if you're extremely extreme. And even then, as we can see with some of these red pill people, even if you're super extreme, people get bored after a while. They get tired of talking about being married and not being married. I mean, it just gets old. And that's the thing about podcasting, too, is you cannot just stick with one subject. It's going to be tough to do that. Live streamers can't even do that. The biggest live streamers, they can only talk about the same thing so much. Sometimes they have to survive off what they already got. But I watch a lot of these. I watch some of these big live streamers, and they're boring. They're boring to watch. I don't understand the appeal unless you're just a young man who wants to see a pretty girl. Uh, or sometimes you just want to watch a guy watch stuff. I don't know, man. I see that for more young people. Uh, but... I don't know, man. And I'm saying this as a person who live streams, but all my live streams are topic based. So, ah, probably you should not start a podcast. 
you're probably not important enough to do so. I just wanted to start this off with something like goodbye.